Hi guys, welcome to the Seven Money Show. Me, your host, Shaw. Today we're going to start off with some REITs, and not usual ones. We're going with Secure Income REIT. Now, this one's trading at a sixty percent discount, and Stockopedia Plus as a well situated, it scores well against financial and technical measures and I can say it passes six and nine financial tests of the peer Trusky score. Wow. The earnings yield for this is 14.7%, which isn't anything to sniff at. And I've actually taken up a small position in this myself. Now, this is one that I've looked at, but I haven't gone into yet. It's a 50% discount, it's Shaftesbury. The Motley 4 recommends it. I'm still going to do a bit more research because I think it's a bit riskier. But then you have the reward as well. And don't forget to hit that lovely like button. Almost as lovely as me. Helps with the YouTube algorithm and getting the video out to more people. And uh, don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Become part of the Saving Money Show family. We give each other hints and tips and updates about uh, stocks and shares we uh, talk about on the show. As well as that, you can ask me to look into any share you want. And I don't charge a Discord fee or ask for a Patreon. All I do ask is for you to comment in the box below and hit the like button. Uh, even if you disagree with me, especially if you disagree with me, I like a debate. And if I do something wrong, I want you to call me on it so I can improve the channel. And why not check out the links in the description below? There's lots of others. I've used each one of them myself. I wouldn't give you links if I haven't checked them out myself. Uh, if you're looking for a free trading platform which should trade your stocks and shares, you know you can get a free share worth up to two hundred pounds for signing up and depositing a small amount. A free trade only requires a one pound deposit. The others require a hundred pounds or dollars, depending on which one you go for. Stake has over three and a half thousand U.S. stocks on their books, which is the biggest one outside of the U.S. Whereas Trading212 is one of the best and easiest platforms to use. But as I said, I use all three. Anyway, on with the show. Now this one, Empiric Student Puppy. They do the high-end student living uh, properties. And one of three REITs Motley Fool recommend is uh, classing as high reward. The dividends are of course suspended, but they are covered by adjusted earnings. <coughs> and bookings for next year are only 7% below the same period last year. Apparently the dividend was only five was good dividend for five pence per year. And which isn't a bad yield. Uh, uh, let me know if 
there's any uh, reach you're into and uh, let me know if there's any particular stocks you're into and I'll have a look at you. Ruzi is a company I spoke about before I think it could do well in 5G I'm also thinking about looking at Part EC as I think it's undervalued but anyway let's carry on now let's go with what I bought yesterday and what I'm buying today oh it's already kept up bought this yesterday at 25.90 and it's due to pay at two pound ten cents a share. It was an eight percent dividend. Yeah. Look, if you take that off this is wrong again 52 week range if basically if you take that dividend off the price of the share that you get on the 30th you're getting it at the March lows at the lowest it's been this year and the lowest it's been in the last five years this is like the Altria UK tobacco it gives the 8% dividend uh, the growth isn't great but you've got the dividend to pay for it and you don't pay the withholding tax I said I was coming out of Altria and I was looking into UK companies or growth dividend companies I split my money from Altria into dividend growth companies in the US and into this company I will, I will so also with Altria they have a huge investment in heat tobacco these guys have an investment in it as well but I think it's coming out against the heated tobacco so I will I don't think this is a long-term hold for me it's in my tax-free account I'm gonna collect the dividend I'm gonna I may I'm gonna wait until it's worth me flipping it again or into something else but at the moment I don't mind holding it long term if I have to this one I spoke about before Highland Gold Mining Limited now it's not for the dividend the dividend is good 2.38% it's a gold mining company uh, we've seen gold go up a bit this has run up a bit, but uh, not to the extent the rest of gold stocks have. But it's got a PE ratio of 6.36 for a gold mining stock. Yeah. Now, so, yeah, I'm not a big fan of analysts, but they are saying uh, there's a hold now it's only one analyst and when that, and that, you only have one analyst going into it and it just says it's just a hold then I look on fundamentals myself is a UK company focused in Russia now 
I spoke about the Russian vaccine, if it works, how uh, the Russian economy is going to take off ahead of all other economies. And that means stocks like this will rise. If it doesn't, it's still well value paid. Stock spirits. I said how I was going into this. I took an entry point, a small entry point. Sorry about that. Uh, why? PE ratio is under 15. Dividend is 3.54. It's a distillery. And you've got companies like Diageo buying up distilleries because they can't cope with div demand. But this is a Brexit play. It looks very much like the UK is going to end up with a no-deal Brexit, which means tariffs are going to be placed. This is a UK company whose head office are in the UK, but all their distilleries are based around Europe, so they won't get tariffs on their uh, items being sold around Europe, and their biggest market is Europe. So, I think this is going to be uh, something that grows post-Brexit. Etsy did a video on earnings. This is one that's got hit by the tech play. Uh, it does its earnings on Wednesday. And... Sorry, it does it only so soon, and uh, I think it smashes it. I think this should be a 135, 145 uh, stock. Big C. No, when it was up here, I got told you got to go in it, it's Shopify. When it was here, I did a video on it, well, not a 76, an 88, and about the pluses and the minuses. I said, at the moment, there's too many unknowns, too many variables, it's a new IPO. I want them to get a few more agreements first. They got the agreements and went up here, and people were saying it's the next Shopify. And I said, I thought Etsy was the next Shopify. Anyway, it went flat and it's dived. Now, it would be a good entry point because they have all these agreements. They have have all these good this good news. It's, they, they have all this hype behind it, so it could run up again. And you can see it's it's gone down, it's consolidated, and it's starting an upward trend. I would wait for confirmation. Probably about 110, but you know, and I wouldn't go too heavy because it's financials isn't that good, but it is a growth stock. Neo, now we have seen it go up, we've seen it come down, and now it's going to gain. Every you've got to realize with this, it's a long term. Deal. Everything is factored in, but I think it's a good time to get in. Green power. Now I had people telling me I was missing out again, and it's gone up there. Oh, oh, this is like steps going down, and then it's consolidating. Now, as long as it stays here. I'll start stepping upwards and I'd want confirmation before getting in I think now would be a good time maybe wait for it to hit 15 but it's a good company it's just you haven't had the volume uh, people have been moving on to other new companies Now, shall we? And I was asked about Tesla. Now, you know, I sold my Tesla at 500 after the stock split. 
I bought back in f one uh, a little bit at four forty four, more at three ninety eight, and I got asked if I'm buying any more. No, if it goes to three thirty, or if I see and it's starting to rise in confirmation between three thirty and three when it hits 330 and 370 and I see a turnaround and it's at 370 that is when I'm um, doing it. okay now another one I'm looking at is workhorse of course I'm already heavy in there and uh, you know I've played it before sold out my initial investment before the dip and I've come down and um, I've gone back in during the dip and I'm about 400 pounds up on it, so uh, I'm thinking about going back in, but uh, I, I have to check. I, I'm torn between this and Melly, Mercado Libra. I spoke about it when it was $444 a share. I wish I got in. But my attention was elsewhere. I ended up with uh, other companies. It has dropped from thirteen hundred to thousand dollars. I st still believe in the company, and it is a good company. It's been a fifteen twenty percent sell off. If it drops, I'm going to wait see if it drops today. If it drops anywhere seven hundred and nine hundred dollars, I'll be loading the boat. Uh, if it doesn't mm -hmm. and it has an upturn, and uh, then I'll be putting an entry point in. It's the Latin answer to Amazon, basically and I did a whole video on it in the past you might want to go back and check that out I'll try and keep you updated as it goes on Tesla's been falling as I expected so next entry point is 330 for me as I said and then after that it's going to be 240 so unless I start seeing it recovering and I'll see you in the next video. Remember to hit the like button like you've never hit anything before. Uh, comment in the box below and I'll see you later. Stay safe, stay savvy, stay investing. Goodbye.